This is Pat Bamber here for PSP Sports. I'm at the Frankfurt Leone vs. Ricky Summers final press conference here today by the O2 Arena. I'm joined by the British light heavyweight champion himself, Frank Buglioni. How are you doing, Frank? Yeah, very good. Thanks, Pat. Sounds good. Frank, firstly, what's your reaction to the uh, final press conference here we had today? Obviously, Fight Night's only two days away now. Yeah, I love Fight Week. Um, I've, had, I've had a lot of these now, but I've been in big fights um, a number of times, and um, I thrive on, on Fight Week. I, I get more excited as, as I draw closer to the fight. I get stronger, I get more confident, and um, I really enjoy the weigh-in. A lot of, a lot of fighters dread the weigh-in, but it's, uh, it's a chance for me to kind of see my, uh, my opponent in the flesh, see his weaknesses. I'll look at his body, I'll see how he's trained, I'll look into his eyes, um, see how drained he is, um, see his nerves, and um, just uh, I got a little glimpse of some of the, the fear in Ricky Summers today just by looking into his eyes. So it's, it's a good opportunity for me to kind of just finish off um, by, by gauging my opponent. Uh, additionally, Frank, did you, did, uh, I spoke to Don as well, uh, if you took anything away from the public workout yesterday in, in, in London, did, did, you, did you look at the way he worked out on the pads or did you take anything away from that? Yeah, I'll see a few things. Um, he, he's got a nice sharp jab. Um, he's a little bit unorthodox with his style. He carries his, hand, his left hand quite low. Um, that's, that's worrying for him because I've got a great right hand. Um, so if he's carrying his left hand low, then he's open to the right hand. But he also carries his right hand a little bit far forward um, from his chin. So he's going to be open to my left hook. And my two best punches are my right hand and my left hook. So um, no, I'm expecting to, to go in there and, and find those shots um, and, and do some damage. Hopefully I get him out of there quite quite quickly, um, depending on how tough he is. But the longer he stays in there, the more, the more punishment he's going to take. Frank, additionally, obviously the, the British light, light, heavyweight, light heavyweight scene now as we speak, it's rife with so many great fighters, obviously yourself. Uh, Jose Burton, Anthony Yard, Nathan Cleverly is world champion as well. So from your perspective, how do you analyse it and see it? Like obviously, I know you only focus on Ricky Summers for now. Yeah. Because it's Saturday night. Right now, um, realistically, Nathan Cleverly, top of the tree. Uh, myself in second place. I'd say Jose Burton, number three. Callum Johnson, number four. Um, Joel McIntyre, number five. Um, Mole Shinquin, number six. He's just on, joined our gym, so he'll be moving up those rankings um, pretty soon as well. And then Anthony Yarda, yeah. So it's a, it's a good uh, it's a good crop of fighters. Um, Ricky Summers um, at this current time he's certainly up there around like the Joel McIntyre, Callum Johnson mark. Um, but after this fight, we were back down to the bottom of the list again. Frank, additionally, obviously, I think we, we saw you at the gym in the first week of May. So how's everything? Obviously, we saw you spar and train and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So how's everything been from that point up until now? The weight cut, the training, the sparring. How's it all been? Yeah, I mean, the weight isn't an issue for me. Now I'm a light heavy after making 12 stone. 168, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so making 12 and a half stone is, is a lot easier for me. Um, training's been phenomenal. Um, I, haven't, I haven't left it in the gym. That's where the experience comes in. So for someone like Ricky Summers, okay, he's got more time to train and to learn things, but he might just be pushing himself that little bit harder. Because when I had the, heard about the postponement, okay, I'm going to taper off a little bit more. I'm going to stop our sparring. We'll build back up to it. So timing is, is so important and peaking at the right stages. And that's where experience comes into play. So uh, yeah, I think you'll see that come Saturday night. Additionally, Frank, I want to ask you something about that was uh, announced a few weeks ago. Obviously, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Um, I'm asking pretty much everyone about it to, yeah, yeah. to get everyone, everyone's opinions. Uh, firstly, do you believe you know everyone's saying is it good for boxing? Is it bad for the UFC? All yeah, things I like think, that. How, no, how do you I see think, it? I think it's good for boxing and UFC. I think it brings more more attention um, to, to our sports. Um, that being said, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a very one-sided fight. Um, you ask most boxers, and they'll tell you because nine times out of ten, boxers have sparred UFC or MMA guys in in the ring days. So I've, I've had um, Paul Daly, Paul Semtex Daly, good, very good fire he come and sparred me and uh, as tough and as strong as he was I could just box a maneuver and kind of keep it keep it at my range and, and my pace whereas in a cage I wouldn't even step into the cage with him because he tear me from limb to limb so um, that's what you got to look at you you kind of you're taking the duck out of water with Conor McGregor putting him in a boxing ring and uh, people, people were kind of forgetting that I know it's I think um, when you when Holly Holm knocked out Ronda Rousey back in I think 2014 2015 in December. I think obviously Holly Holm was a former boxing yeah, champion, wasn't she? Boxer, yeah. And then she, she went to the UFC. So, yeah. I mean, from a um, boxer's point of view, Frank, 
Would you say it's easier or harder to translate the skills from boxing to UFC or UFC to boxing or vice versa, or it's not really a big thing? I'd probably say it'd be, be easier to take boxing skills into UFC. Um, simple for the fact that if you've got a good, a, a good foundation, you can strike, and then obviously you learn your wrestling and your jiu-jitsu, that sort of thing. Whereas if you kind of if you're got a wrestling or a jiu-jitsu um, background and then try and go into boxing, you're going to be more reliant on the grappling side of things rather than the punching and you may probably get frustrated trying to learn um, the boxing it might take longer to get through because um, not not natural um, so things have got to be instinctive in sport um, the more you think about something the slower you're going to be you got to rely on instinct and reactions from Biglioni, additionally what can finally what can the team wise guy fans and the from Biglioni fans expect from yourself on saturday night I just enjoy a great night of boxing, um, see some great prospects on the card. Um, as I said before, I think I could quite easily see uh, four or five of these guys go on to become world champions, um, myself included in that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be looking to go on and, and put a great performance on against Ricky Summers, um, be some spiteful, hurtful punches, and um, it'll be exciting for as long as it lasts. The British I have with a champion, Fran Biglioni. Thank you so much for your time once again for PSP Sports. Thank you. I wish you all the best for Saturday night and uh, thank you very much. Cheers, man.